Automatically playback, pre-recorded announcements, messages, tones over your paging system or your phone system with the DVA 2WA. Coming at you now. The DVA-2WA is a digital voice announcer with seven and a half minutes of record time, three playback options, on demand, which takes a trigger from a contact, continuous loop, which doesn't really require too much explanation, and timed intervals, which will play back your message at predetermined intervals. 2WA stands for two watt amplifier, which means you can connect up to three of these paging horns directly to the unit. It also has a built-in volume control for master volume as well as an auxiliary audio signal. The DVA-2WA is very commonly used to provide on-hold pacifier messages or hold music for your phone system. It also works to provide a timed reminder or promotional announcement over a public paging system. It's also used quite a bit for on-demand playback. There's a lot of creative ways the DVA-2WA is used. Hey, real quick, if you're getting value out of this, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. It does help us get our message out there and provide more content to you. All right, let's get technical. When you look at the circuit board of the DVA-2WA, you see your master volume in the top left corner and your aux audio volume or your music on hold volume in the top right corner. Down at the bottom left, this red button is a start and stop recording button. This is what you're going to use when you're programming your voice recording into the DVA. Next is a handset record and monitor jack. Plug a carbon handset in here for recording. Any standard handset may be used for monitoring the recording that exists. Next to that is a eighth inch audio jack used for recording either from a mic or any other line level audio input like a CD player, PC, etc. To the right of that, we have another 8th inch jack, which is your auxiliary audio input. Any 600 ohm audio source plugged in here for background music, or maybe you have another tone generator, will play out over the speakers and the 600 ohm audio output. But I'll get to that in a second. This light is a status light. It does not indicate how much money the DVA-2WA makes or what type of car it drives. It just tells you if it's working, if it's powered, what it's doing. You can check out page two in the product manual down below for the different behaviors of the LED and what they mean. This gigantic switch here is your play and record selector switch. If you slide it to the left, you have the DVA-2WA in play mode. And if you slide the switch to the right, it is in record mode. Above the play record selector switch, we have seven smaller dip switches. The first one indicates if you will use the pre-recorded or user recorded messages. The DVA-2WA does come from the factory loaded with four pre-recorded pacifier messages for on hold. Turn this switch on to use the professionally pre-recorded messages. Dip switches two, three, and four set the delay time between message playback when the DVA-2WA is in intermittent playback mode. Dip switch five affects on-demand playback. If the dip switch is on, the contact needs to be maintained for the message to play. And if the dip switch is off, a momentary contact will play the entire message. Dip switch six turns continuous playback on. When dip switch six is on, your message will loop continuously, and when it's off, your message will play normally. Dip switch seven is the input gain adjustment. Turning the dip switch on reduces gain for line level devices. When the dip switch is off, the gain is higher for Electrap microphones. The IO COM port allows you to daisy chain multiple DVA-2WAs together. When they are daisy chained together, the last DVA in the chain will have priority. Below that, we have a block of six screw terminals. Pins one and two is a remote trigger input, momentary or latched, based on your dip switch settings. Pins three and four is your 600 ohm audio output. This is great for self-amplified speakers or taking it to maybe a larger amplifier. Lastly, pins five and six are your speaker level outputs, which will utilize the DVA 2WA's built-in two watt amplifier. Just a friendly reminder, Check out the information down in the description section for links to the product manuals and additional information on the DVA-2WA. We also have videos on the PA-2A, which is an analog paging amplifier. It's extremely popular. And if you have a IP paging system, 
take a look at this PA-IP, which will allow you to bridge the gap between the DVA 2WA and an IP paging system. I'm Andrew with Viking Electronics. See you next time.